Okay then, uh, would you like to just say what your name and your job is? Um, my name is Olivia Lynch, um, I'm an assistant digital producer for Channel 4. And can you kind of explain a little bit about your background? Um, so I'm originally from Leeds, um, born in Leeds, born and bred. Um, I, the only time I ever moved out of Leeds is when I went to university, I went to Loughborough University for three years, I did communication and media studies there from undergrad and then I came back to Leeds to do my master's and I did media industries. Um, yes, yeah, so that's education. I started working at the university as a marketing assistant, um, kind of like the year after that. And then I worked for UK Local TV and I was a digital coordinator. And then from there, I've moved on to Channel 4. Um, very much a creative. Uh, I have my own podcast and my own platform called Open Soul. I record poets and singers and dancers and young entrepreneurs and just like to spread good music, good vibes, just everything just to do with goodness. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's kind of what I do in my spare time alongside working full time. Um, but yes, I'm a big, big, big fan of God, big lover of Christ. Like he is my, um, my everything. Um, the one I go to when it comes to making decisions and just guiding me in this journey of life. So why and how did you go into the media industry oh so um <laughs> this is i always feel really like nervous to answer this question because i i don't i i never really had a plan of, about what i wanted to do like mm -hmm. i remember like telling a lot of my friends and people that have asked me when i was like you know in primary school and high school i didn't have a clue of what i wanted to do it kind of just happened um like i was really good at sport i'm really good at dance and i feel like my house has always been full of like creativity and like yeah just yeah they've always allowed us to explore whatever we want to do so because there were so many options i didn't really know exactly what i wanted to do but i guess just from looking at the course um at loughborough it just seemed like something that i was intrigued by especially because of how much media plays a role in people's lives today i was like i really want to understand it and know why it has a massive effect and why we spread the messages that we do and if it is truly brainwashing so mm -hmm. i think that's where my interest first started and then from there i realized you know the power of social media and then there's marketing there's pr there's journalism there's so many assets to to media so and then i think for me it was always just about well, what can I, what kind of voice can I bring to my own social media and what kind of voice, what other voices can I help promote too, especially being like a black woman and a minority. Um, I wanted to make sure that I was able to give a voice to, to the people that were around me and that inspired me. And so I think the producing kind of came from there. Um, and then, yeah, and obviously landing a job at Channel 4 as an assistant digital producer was just perfect because it's like, it's just awesome to work like with TV shows and create ideas and really like, you know, engaging content on social media. So I don't know, it kind of came from that just, yeah, the interest of why the media is the way it is and then it promotes messages that it does and then also making sure I have a voice on there too. So <laughs> I think that's, why, that's how I got there. Sorry, that was so long. <laughs> no, no, fantastic. So in terms of like a job at Channel 4, like how did you get the job? Were you applying? Did you have an internship or something? So, okay, so this is... Honestly, like it was all God because um, every time I've gone for a job or every time a company has come up just, uh, you know, when I've been looking online or if myself and my mum seen it on the on, on TV, I've always thought I never could get, I could never get a job at UK local TV. And then when Channel 4 moved to Leeds because um, that's, so it moved to Leeds, the headquarters, um, which was a massive thing for uh, people that are in media and television and stuff. Um, and obviously Leeds, I was just like, um, I'm never gonna get a job there. But I literally just applied. <laughs> I know it sounds really like basic, but I, I literally just applied um, online. Um, so obviously applied for several jobs um, that I thought I would be able to, you know, do. Um, and then kind of went through the process, the whole process of, you know, the, in the two interviews and obviously the tasks that you had to do. And I think the, the, the thing that I love about Channel 4 is it wasn't just based on the skills that you have and you know being able to do the task and um etc it was more of like who you are and how you are and um, that's what really that's i think one of the reasons why i got the job like they're very keen on like making sure they they build a community of people that can work together and that are um open-minded and that can know how to appreciate and understand everybody and understand especially like obviously like minority groups and stuff and, and channel 4 is very different to other stations and stuff so um yeah it was it was really basic <laughs> the whole process i didn't know anyone but you know obviously they always say it's always about who you know but mm. this time for me it wasn't it was only about knowing the man upstairs um and, <laughs> <Amen>. <laughs> yeah, and he um obviously helped and assisted and 
I was able to get the job and I absolutely love it. It's changed my life. So. Incredible. I love that. <laughs> so obviously I know you love the job, but what are some challenges you'd say you'd face in the industry? Oh, I think um, because my job is very much like producing ideas. Mm. Sometimes you get a creative block, don't you? And sometimes there's days where I'm like, I can't use my head or if there are things that are going on because obviously I live life there so there's challenges that you face outside of work too because of life and living life it's sometimes hard to sometimes focus and when you're on a new brief or you come you're on a new show and you've got to like form ideas and there's just sometimes your, your juices are just not there so I think that's definitely one of the challenges that I face and um, also um, making sure the ideas are good like I think I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I'm just like oh man like I always think any idea is a good idea, so it's it's fine. But there's times where I'm just like, oh, live like you could have been so much better. Um, you could have really established some good content, but I think because of you know the time and deadlines and when the show's gonna air and stuff, sometimes it's not easy to come up with the best ideas. Sometimes you need like a good couple of weeks um to come up with ideas and stuff. Um, but yeah, so sometimes it's tight deadlines and turnarounds and stuff. Um, and obviously as well, the, the challenge that you always face is making sure you work correct, good with people. I think um, I try my best to always work um, in a good environment with good people. And if they're on a brief with me, I want to make sure that they're comfortable and they're okay and we're on the same page. It's just that thing of like, obviously you come into sometimes a bit of, not a battle, but it's just like sometimes people have different ways or methods of and stru just structure to the how they would tackle a brief so I think that it's also learning that too and especially because my title my role as assistant I've got to make sure that I don't step over a line and I also I make sure that I'm not saying nothing as well so um yeah it's that balance as well I think for me fantastic thank you why did you choose to work with um black excellence oh okay <laughs> um well firstly I'm black <laughs> um I think because it just seems like it is a platform and a space where it's just uplifting making spreading awareness of people who are doing good stuff great stuff excellent stuff and shouting about people who are who who we already know in society probably do not get a voice or don't get heard of or get looked over and so i think it's I think it's great and it as me as a, a black woman like my my goal in life is to always make sure that the generations behind me can see that there's already a, a path and a journey that they can take like there's already things established for them like I want to make sure that whatever and um, wherever I get I'm all, I've got a hand back as well and I feel like with black excellence it's doing that it's it's creating and building a body and a community of people who are of a standard and, and are black and it's like we can make sure that generations behind us can come up to something so I think yeah anything to do with black people I'm all for it <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all for it and especially when they're professional and they know their stuff and they're good at what they do and they have a passion for it I'm I'm there like I'm there for it and I'm, I will stand with it and I'm all on board so yeah Black Excellence is going to be a fantastic hub of um people and i just hope that yeah it, it builds you know it builds throughout the generations and it continues to keep going so yeah <laughs> that's why i work with black people <laughs> that's really really good yeah that's like i would agree with that as well same reason for me so what is a piece of advice i guess you give to somebody who's thinking of the creative industry or even um, someone who doesn't think that they can achieve the same things that you've achieved in your career? I would probably say plan, like take time to plan and take time to be in your own, like know what your own creative space is and know how and start to understand the way that you creatively think. Um, don't compare yourself as well. <laughs> I think that's one of the biggest things when it comes to creativity and just in general, just in life as well, like don't compare yourself because comparison is a thief of joy. Um, so, uh, and yeah, I'd, I'd, say, I'd say plan and make sure you have something for yourself. Like as much as I love working for Channel 4, um, which is the best job I've ever had. Um, <laughs> I still very much am passionate about my own creativity, whether, you know, whether you write a blog or whether you, you know, you're passionate about your own Instagram channel or you do a YouTube or you have a YouTube channel, like whatever, make sure you have something on the side for you so that can help um, expand your creative nature and you can build on that. And that's, that will help you outside of work, get to where you need to get to too. Cause I feel, feel like companies, they, obviously they want you to be great at the actual job and the responsibilities that you have when you're applying but like 
they want to see that there's a bit of something else so you've got to have a bit of character and personality or you know creativity that's outside of just working and um, 24 7 so i'd probably say that's my advice so don't compare yourself make sure you plan know your create know your own way of creatively thinking and have something that is a, a content or body that is creative outside of work <laughs> and the final final question sorry this has came to my mind but i love this question because you asked me this before but um what's your favorite thing about being black um, oh. <laughs> Wow, well, <laughs> <that's love. laughs> um, oh, being black is everything. I ah, I just love the music, the cultures, the people, the the vibes, the, um, <laughs> just the way we speak to each other, the passion, the, just everything. Uh, being black is just, oh, I can't, I just, I love it all. Um, I love it all. I wait, I just love it all. I just love how we are just as a people. Just mm. even when you like walk through the street mm. and you're talking to a black person, <laughs> you've already known it. Like it's just, there's, there's some sort of like warmness in my heart. It's like you, we get each other. <laughs> like mm. even my colleagues at work, or one of my colleagues who who's also black, it's like, we're just on the same page. Even if we haven't come from the same culture, like, mm. you know, whether you're Caribbean or African, like wherever you're from, like there's just a, it's just something about there's just a connection that we yeah. have as a people so i think that's what i that's what i love wherever you go whatever country you're in where whatever street you walk down you know when you see each other there's just this unspoken like yeah like <laughs> so but yeah i love it all i love everything about being black i wouldn't want to be anything else um, so, yeah. so yeah awesome thank you so much for just taking time to speak to me today and answer all my questions thank you if you want to i guess find out more about black excellence as well and just everything we do um there'll be more resources in the description below thank you for watching this video